I am a child of God. I feel the anointing in this place. Praise the name of God. I move the son of the carpenter. I am the begotten child of God. Uh, let me say this before I continue. You are the son of God because the Holy Spirit is upon you. Uh, that's why you say you are anointed. That's why they have been killing you but you cannot die. They have tried the witches in Mombasa. Witches in Machakos. They have snakes in their houses. They speak to their snakes. Kill that village. Kill that village. When they walk up, they see Phyllis coming driving. Come up preach in this place. Some say I'm a child of God. And something that happens to a child of God, you are a carrier of the anointing of God. Praise the name of God. When you are a carrier of the anointing of God, you are the unbreakable child of God. Ah, they can walk on you. They can spit on you. They can hate you at all they want. They can spit on you. But in the next three days, you are coming back anointed. You are coming back blessed. You are coming back uplifted. The victory... I say the victories shall be mine. Praise the name of God. Uh, sit down where I'm standing now. Uh, can I talk to you about Jeremiah? Uh, and we are going to close. You see, uh, 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 there is a problem here. Uh, especially now if I have to be a product of what God wants. Uh, there are some of us in this place. Uh, the fight has been so much uh, about uh, how God wants my life to be. Uh, and how I want my life to be. There is something you want with your life. And there is something God wants with your life. And at the end of the day, the response will be what God wants with your life. Some of us, we never wanted to be preachers. And we are struggling with the response of what God wants to be with our lives. It is here he says unto Jeremiah, before I formed you into your mama's womb, I knew you, Jeremiah. And there is something I need you to do for me not something you needed to do for yourself praise the name of God it's all about what he wants you to do for him and not you want by yourself and he said to Jeremiah how dare you before I formed you into your mama soon I knew you and I ordained you and I predestined you to be a prophet unto the nations you have the power to plant you have the power to approve cannot preach the way I feel it. I want you to look at the argument between Jesus and the Canaanite woman. She was so much determined for her child to be healed. Into the same day, praise the name of God. I will not take my bread and give it to the dogs. She said, hey Jesus, even the dogs, they feed on the crumbs that falls from the master's table. What does it mean the same ingredient that is in the food of the master's table is the same ingredient that is falling from the crumbs. Praise the name of God. Just one crumb from Jesus can turn around your life. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. I want you to look at Batmaya. He had a bad condition and they tried to stop Batmaya. Can I just say this? I hear the Holy Spirit. Can I say this before I continue? It's never too late with God. And as much as they stopped him, he kept on calling the name of the Lord. Someone say he kept on calling the name of the Lord. I see people in this place. They have been stopping you calling upon the name of God. They never will like you because you go to church. They do all they can to stop you from worshiping. But you keep on prevailing like but my 
He was so determined for he needed his healing and deliverance. It is here now we come into the Hebrew. The Hebrew says unto us, and now faith. Ah, now, someone say now. So, uh, 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 faith is not for tomorrow. Faith is not for next week. Uh, stop threatening people. Telling them because now you are worried uh, about the year 2021. You have started threatening people, telling them wait and see the year 2022. You are a coward. You do are not anointed. You are not a child of God. The Bible says in now faith is a substance of things hoped for. So my car is not for tomorrow. I need my car right now. Why? Because um, praise the name of God. Why? Because uh, I'm not going to be blessed now. I was blessed before the foundations of the earth. So I'm not going to receive my house now. I already received my house before the foundations of the earth. And that's why the Bible says the honestly expectation the world awaits for the manifestation of the child of God. We don't say God has blessed me the car. We say my car just manifested. Uh, we, 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 we don't say I got a husband. We say my husband just manifested. Why? Because I was blessed before the foundation of the earth. Uh, I need somebody to encourage me right now because I'm taking you somewhere. I'm about to close. Praise the name of God. Can you kindly tap your neighbor for me? Ask the neighbor. When it's your tomorrow, you have been telling people tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Why can't your tomorrow be right now? And say, God has blessed me. God has anointed me. God has favored me. My miracle is not for tomorrow. My miracle is for now. I need my money right now. I need what I need right now. Because God is an omnipresent God. Praise the name of God. I release the anointing of manifestation upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> Praise the name of God. Someone say God. <laughs> that you may favor me. I need people in this place. You are not about to postpone it again. I need people with courage in this place. You are saying I'm not going to postpone it again. Praise the name of God. Someone say faith. My faith says now. I'm blessed right now. I'm lifted right now. I'm healed right now. I'm changed right now. When the Canaanite woman went back home, the child was already healed because the healing was taking the place. By the time she was having an encounter with Jesus, where are we, child of God? We are in the presence of God to have the same encounter like the Canaanite woman into the house of God. Someone say, yes, Lord. It is here now where the Bible says that by faith, that Abel brought to God a better offering than Cain. Someone say faith. By faith, Enoch was taken from his life and he never experienced death. Someone say faith. By faith, Noah, when he was warned about the things not yet seen, he obeyed the voice of God. There is something the Lord has been telling you. There is something the Holy Spirit has been ministering unto you. I need someone in this place who is able to bring the past where you are and stretch the future where you are and compress them together and decree and declare, I'm stretching today in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of God. I bind right now. I rebuke every demon of postponement. Uh, son, I feel it now. Let's do this thing. Someone lift up your hands. Say, Lord Jesus, 
Ah, this year 2021, I'm not gonna postpone it. Feel the anointing now. Give your brother, your sister high five. Hold on to them. Let it manifest now. Stop postponing it now. I decree and declare today things are going to get better. I decree and declare today you are going to receive your breakthrough. Oh my God. Someone say, Holy Spirit, follow me right now. It is here when now Jesus says, Enough is enough. I'm not going to postpone it again. Pray.